What's up guys? So, I am going to be playing or doing a let's play of Hades, as you can see. I, I, I really love this game, I did a review of it a while ago. And um, I had it on Nintendo Switch, but um, I never obviously had it on PC until now. I just got it for Black Friday. I got this and another game which I'm going to be starting a series for. Um, what's really frustrating is, um, so I've actually got to the true ending and stuff on this game, or at least one of the true endings. So I'm starting from scratch on PC because cross save still isn't working, but uh, yeah, I thought it'd still be a little fun thing to do, you know, um, starting from um, scratch and letting you guys see my progress through the game. Also, um, I've been wanting to do a good commentary series for a while. The problem with Yu-Gi-Oh is that in my opinion, it's not really a good spectator game, um, especially if you understand how Yu-Gi-Oh works. Uh, I feel like... There's, there's very little that is up to chance in it once. I mean, ugh, that sounds silly. How, how do I explain it? I feel like with Yu-Gi-Oh, like, after the first maybe, like, pff, 10, 15 moves, and by moves I mean, like, activating a card or whatever, it's kind of like a foregone conclusion. If a certain card doesn't get negated, or if the person's drawn a certain combination of things, or if a certain... Um, um, monster hits the board, it's like you know the game's probably over, or you know who's gonna win. Whereas something like this, I feel like it's more moment to moment interesting. Yeah, I still am gonna be releasing you content now, and I probably I think I've got a, a couple of jewels that I did with a good mate of mine um, coming out, but um, yeah, I, I feel like this is a much better kind of commentator series to do, so this is why I'm uh, gonna be doing Hades. But yeah, Hades, so. Yeah, when I did a review on it, I thought this game was awesome. Um, I still think it's awesome, and especially after playing more, one of the things I can definitely say is that um, it definitely has that great quality of of a lot of roguelites where roguelikes, roguelite. I mean, I know they call it a roguelite, I call it a rogue like, I don't know, I don't know whatever. But anyway, yeah, this game has the amazing quality of a lot of um, roguelikes where um, it gets a lot better the more you play it, and I know it sounds silly. It's like, oh yeah, the game gets better as you play it, that just means it's crap, and you... but no, no, no. When you first start off, it's an amazing game, but the depth of gameplay just really, really hugely increases the longer you're playing the game. So like, I think it was only actually like um, two or three days ago that I actually got one of the true, the, that I got the true ending, and um, after that, like, I unlocked two or three things that made the game just so much more interesting, funnily enough. And, like, I was just learning new synergies and stuff in the game, and it, yeah, it really, really, um, gave me a huge appreciation. Though, what's funny is, like, now as I'm playing now, even little things I'm really missing, like my double dash that I don't have. <laughs> it, it, it is a bit wild to be playing without, um, a lot of those, um, features as, as I'm going, but... I mean, it's funnily enough, I remember my, so... Um, I actually had another save, so I deleted my old PC save because I had this game um, non legitly at first on the PC, but then I wanted to support the creators, so I bought it on Switch instead. But um, when I first um, got this game on, um, on, on PC, or when I first played it on PC, I got a really um, insane upgrade for my sword that basically meant that every time I slash, I gained HP. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, that upgrade to me just makes the game super easy. Like, I ended up getting all the way to the final level. On like my second or third run through because of it so interestingly enough i'm not doing as well as i did the first time I'm fun and what was really wild as well is that really skewed that save file because it made it so that i'd ended up i ended up unlocking quite a few good things a lot earlier than i normally would have had them but um yes yeah, it's, it's weird because the game still does feel kind of quite challenging now now i know what would probably be the smartest thing to do now because I know, yeah, Athena, they kind of shove Athena in your face for the early run because obviously she's like the god that's good at making the game easy for you with all of her deflect stuff. But I know an Athena Ares build would probably be the smartest thing to go for here to get that build. Because I know that build, um, I was watching a speedrunner play this and um, he got that build and it was just insane. Like, um, he got that with the dash and he was just procking his... Um, he, he, he was procking his... The, the doom effect um, over and over again with this dash and it just made it really really awesome like genuinely I, it, it, it was so insane because I had never thought of that scene before. Athena's a, 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 a person I usually completely avoid and Ares, if I go for Ares build it's usually Ares and Aphrodite but I didn't realise just how good Ares um, Athena is but oh my gosh I am taking all sorts of damage here 
yeah. Another big change is that I'm starting off playing on a controller, so I'm playing on my Switch controller right now. Oh, I've got Dionysus. So the thing about Dionysus, um, I'll go back to the controller to talk after, but the thing about Dionysus and the reason why um, I don't actually like, I wouldn't, I'm not actually happy that I've got him right now is because I don't feel like, for me anyway, he's the best of the blade. With the blade, I like Zeus, I like, I like a bit of Ares, I like Demeter, um, but um, I, I feel like yeah, with with the blade Dionysus, I'm not really a fan of it, just because I feel like it, all of it, the the strongest thing about him for me is the Festic Fog hangover synergy, and it's hard to proc that consistently with the blade, um, especially the way I play. As you can tell I, I like dashing around uh, a lot, so I'm never really standing still trying to apply them hangover stacks. But I'm sure I can make something special happen. So I'm actually gonna get I'm actually gonna get after party just because I haven't got regen yet, and I'm not looking for a Dionysus synergy. I'm gonna get Dionysus because yeah, before you get it's, it's so fun. It's like it, again, it's like the longer you play this game, the, the the more the easier it gets because you have those upgrades and stuff. And like early on, when you don't get regen between rooms, I mean, it's actually quite insane just how much damage you end up taking. So having that ability to regen is definitely gonna give me a chance of of getting past the first boss. I think the first boss is likely to be where I die. Unless I get really unlucky before that, like I am with my damage. But I think it'll be hard to get past Meg initially with no buffs. I, I actually found her almost impossible to beat with the blade for a long time because I just, yeah, I, I wasn't good at dodging her abilities and stuff. But we'll see what happens. If I get lucky though, I mean, I have got Ares now, which is really good. That's going to help a lot. But anyway, yeah, I'm playing with controller. So when I, that's another thing I'd say as well, another big change is going from playing on mouse and keyboard to playing on controller and, and what i really like is that they've really made this game like great for a controller even on pc it's one of the few games i found i found that no matter what kind of controller i plug into my pc so i have a lot of controls i have a stadia controller i have a ps3 controller a ps4 controller i have switch controller like i i, I have a bunch of different controllers and um this is one of the few games where i haven't had haven't needed to do any special shenanigans in the background to get it to work like the game that's in my head that I couldn't figure out how to get to work with a controller and still today it's still difficult I have to use like a special app to do it is Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3 just bombs when you try and use it with a controller but um this game I've plugged use my PS3 controller, PS4 controller sorry it works fine. Use my Switch controller it works fine. I've used my Stadia controller it works fine so I'm really happy and they've designed this game to work really well with a controller as well which also is awesome. Now I would have rather had Doom on my special that's actually quite frustrating, um, but I don't want to pass up the opportunity to have it in the first place, so yeah, if I have to, I'll just get on both, because I do think I can still get that duo boon, um, even if um, I, even if I don't get um, my friend, well, actually, I think it's too late now, because I'm going to get Athena on my special probably here. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I haven't got the chance. Okay, so deflect with expose. Holy Shield is really good. Um... So I think I'm gonna go for that. If I had privilege status, then I'd go for, um, then I'd go for, um, but the exposed just for that. But I don't, I don't have that, so why not? All right, let's see if I can beat Meg. See, she just does so much damage, and especially early on, getting close to any of the Furies is is pretty much suicide because of their attacks. But if I can um, play this well, just keep trying to proc Doom on her. Doom is gonna do huge amounts to her. So if I can just focus on proccing Doom on her. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I actually, I actually really, really like um, the Furies in terms of bosses in a game. One, so Binding of Isaac, and I talk about that a lot because that's another one a game I really liked. I actually had a Binding of Isaac series on my channel when I was first deciding what my channel would be focused on. Um, I wasn't sure, so I made a Borderlands series, I made a Binding of Isaac series, I made a <laughs> League of Legends TFT series. I was just doing all sorts until I settled on Yu-Gi-Oh because. Um, I found that the best kind of content to start off with, but now I'm expanding, obviously, but yeah, um, one of the things I didn't like about some of the Binding of Isaac bosses is that they felt very luck-based early on, They're or not very luck-based, but when you're not good at the game, a highly skill-based boss will sometimes feel luck-based because you don't know what you're doing, and so yeah, <laughs> it really just comes down to, oh my gosh, I got hit by all of those, yeah, I'm going to die to her there, and I, I, I'm going to die to her now, <laughs> and I really shouldn't, because that's entirely my fault playing that badly. I played that really badly. I got hit by all, all of those um, eruptions. You would never have thought <laughs> I'd beaten this boss before. <laughs> but no, I think this is actually a good place to um, stop now and I'll continue my discussions next video. Um, 
So yeah, this is really just an introduction to my new Hades series, guys. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Yeah, I'll be sure to release some and stay tuned. I've got another game that I will be starting series on very, very soon. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty awesome. But anyway, I will talk to you all later, guys. Peace.